Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share you how I set up all of my main website content inside of Light Funnels. So I'm talking about my main website, I'm talking about my blog post, I'm talking about my shop, right? All I have migrated from a WordPress environment over to basically Light Funnels. So the way that I did it is I'm using Cloudflare as my DNS manager. And from Cloudflare, so if we take a look there, and go over my DNS records. You will see that I have a lot of C names as well, but these mostly go towards uh, Switchy for my link shorteners. But you will see that for my main content, I am basically using light funnels. If we take a look at the C name records, you will see that the www points towards light funnels. And under the page rules, I set up basically an auto redirect that every single thing inside the markfenomate.com domain auto redirects back towards that www domain. So if we take a look inside, you will see that we have the main domain markfenomate and I'm going to forward this with a 301 permanent redirect back towards www.markfenomate.com and this points basically towards light funnels so people ask me how do you set up the different sections of your main website for example let's say you have your home page right so that is basically the easy part because if you just go towards your funnels and you make a funnel for main website for example inside the settings you will have your funnel url and basically this funnel url will be markfenomate.com slash main and this will be automatically forwarded towards the main domain you will see inside the url we have markfenomate.com slash main slash home right so if we just remove the preview it will be a little bit clearer it will be slash main slash home but if we just basically only fetch the markfenomate domain you will get the same result because everything is being redirected back towards this domain. So we have the main homepage here. I just built a simple homepage with a call to action. Um, the first call to action will be a let's chat because I'm a um, chatbot and omnichannel educator and I help people implement um, chatbots inside their own business to grow the business, to get more interactivity and engagement in, with their potential leads. So obviously the first call to action would be to redirect people back towards my chatbot to get them in and have a chat with them, right? So then the next section is again really um, basic actually, but those are just resources, quick links, shortcuts towards all my pieces of content. So I have my membership, right? So people can join my membership, claim the LTD if they like to, they, have, they can schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me, free discovery call. They can check out all my videos, like the one you're watching now on my main YouTube channel and the blog post I'm currently working on, but I will show you how I set this up as well. So the issue basically is if you want to set up your main website and if we go back towards the preview, you have this really long URL, right? So we have markfenomate.com slash main slash home and then if we, for example, want to add a blog article, it would be basically markfenomate.com slash home slash blog slash and then the articles, right? So it's a really, really long uh, URL that way and it's not really user friendly. So what you could do and what I found out um, recently, two days ago, is let's just save this one just in case. If we go back towards the dashboard, and go back towards the domains. I set up an extra domain called articles.markfandomate.com. So if we go towards this funnel, we can just press the funnel block. We have, if we go inside the settings, we should have a URL of articles.markfandomate.com slash blog, and then it goes towards the main overview slash overview, and then it goes even further and goes towards the articles. So. Again, a really long URL, but I found out that you can redirect this domain back towards the main domain. Meaning that if you are going to redirect people towards this domain, it automatically adds the main domain instead. So instead of articles.markfandomate.com slash blog slash overview, you get a really short URL like you have in WordPress, for example. So if we're going to preview this page, 
you will now have let's just remove the preview now we have markfandomate.com slash vlog slash overview right so now we have the overview page we can go to the read more and this is the first article that i'm working on currently so this will be my first article and it's about halfway done and again i can just link to different parts of my website content like in wordpress or in webflow because this goes towards my landing page for my uh, for my membership right and this is directly inside of light funnels as well this has completely been built inside of light funnels and i was able to point to it just like in a normal wordpress environment so if we go back towards the domains one more time i can show you how to redirect the subdomain or the specific domain towards the primary domain so to do so i first set the mark fandomate domain as my primary domain so that that is an important step right so you can just go towards the three dots and then make any domain primary i did so for this one and then on all the other domains you have the option to enable redirection and if you do so, you will see this text above the domain, auto redirects back towards the primary domain. And this way you can basically build your entire website with different funnels, like with the blog section, because now I can just build out my main website content inside of this funnel. And then for all my articles, all my blog articles, I can build out my other funnel, right? I can point towards different kinds of sections and it is just really, really easy to do. I have one more domain and that's uh, that's this one and this is going to be used for affiliate marketing, but this will be all my main website content. So I have a funnel for my main website content. I have a funnel for all my blog content. I also have a funnel for my membership content that goes towards all my memberships, right? And so that is also happening. For me, the biggest advantage on having all my website content inside of light funnels i just have one platform to manage i don't need any kind of wordpress environment anymore or any woocommerce shopify or webflow i can build everything inside of light funnels so i can have a funnel for my main website pages i can have a funnel for my article pages if i want to sell something i can do so easily as well so this is the way that I am going to use light funnels basically for all my website content and be able to just put it out like a normal website would. One of the biggest advantages of light funnels is as well the, the pages itself are hosted on Cloudflare, which, which in turn provide blazing fast loading times, right? And it basically doesn't matter where the user is going to log in from. Especially for website traffic, this is the perfect setup that you need to look for. And for me, again, it's just ease of use, right? So I can now just use one platform and I decide to go with Light Funnels to build all my website content on. So main website, blog articles, and my shop as well. And soon even my affiliate marketing project. So if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, do consider dropping a like because it would help me out really well. And of course, if you want to get notified about more videos going live, such as these ones, do press that subscribe button and the bell notification to the right of it. For now, have a great day. Take care and talk soon.